Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. I want to talk about Triptelmania. It's been a while since I bought this somebody book. It's been a while because it's not really forefront in my life per se, but then again it kind of is. I have an old video about this, so if you want to watch that old video, you can, but guess what? I still pluck my eyebrows out. I don't know if you can tell, but I still pick my eyebrows. Remember I talked about how I pick my eyebrows when I get nervous? I don't know why. Nobody really knows why, per se. It's just one of those nervous habits that some people do. And it's unavoidable. But it feels good. Trick to me is like an impulsive habit where you just pluck whatever area of your head. Now some people, they actually pluck the hair out of their head. I'm so glad I do that. I've said that before. I don't pluck the hair out of my head. See? I have hair. Lots of it too. I have hair. I'm glad I don't pick any part of my hair out any I don't pick anything out of my scalp. I'm very glad. <laughs> um, I don't pick any hair from like any other parts of my body. It's just always been these eyebrows. Ever since I was in like, middle school, I believe it started when I was like 11 or 12. Probably 12. Like around the time I was starting to be molested. Probably around that time. But I believe that was the trigger. I believe the trigger for me picking my eyebrows was me being molested. And um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, like I said, it's not like super forefront in my life right now. I just pick it and pick them sometimes. It's not a detrimental part of my life to where it's like, oh my god, I always pick my eyebrows clean to where I have none. I don't think I look right with my eyebrows. What do y'all think? Mm -mm. So yeah, I don't pick them clean. I never ever like pick them to where I have none left. I don't do that. <laughs> it's just certain times of the day or just randomly during the week. I don't know. I might just be nervous and then I'll start picking. And I don't even realize I'm picking. But it feels good. Trichotillomania is a weird disease. It's like you pull hair out of your head. You pull hair out of anywhere. You would think it would hurt and be uncomfortable. No, nope, it actually doesn't hurt. It feels good. I don't know why. But it's a very strange, very strange condition indeed. It really is. Do any of you pull hairs from anywhere in your body? Let me know which area of your body that you pull hair from. Let me know. I'm kind of curious. Um, let me know if you also know what triggers it. Because a lot of people that do these things, but they don't really know what triggers it. They don't know what triggers this hair pulling symptom or I can't say disease, a condition. You don't even know what triggers this condition. Some people do, some, some people do know. Some people don't know. You know, it was good to know where it came from or where it kind of stems from so you can get a better grasp of how to treat it because it's not one of those things where you just go get medication for. It's not as serious. It's not one of those situations where you need medication. You know, for most people, for the people who pull hair out of their scalp, for those who pull hair out of their scalp, it's more so an embarrassing thing for them. It's an embarrassment to where they can't really go out anywhere because they have bald patches. And then when you try to fix their hair a certain way, they can't really, they can't because they have so many bald patches. And people see that, tease them. They gotta constantly wear wigs. They gotta constantly wear hats. And it's embarrassing. And people can kind of tell. Eventually they'll tell. They'll know. They'll see you pulling your hair out. They'll try to get you to stop and then you can't stop. It's a true embarrassment, but um, I need to talk more about trichotillomania on this channel. Um, just because it's a subject I don't talk about much. It's a subject that's not really talked about much at all. I'm working with a young lady right now, since last year, who is actually doing a project. Um, this long drawn out project for her um. She chose trichotillomania as her 
assignment to study. She's been studying it for a good minute. And it kind of made me want to pick it back up again. I'm like, you know what? I need to start maybe looking into this and see if I could possibly find some new information about trichotillomania because it doesn't just affect a certain race. It affects us too. It's not just Caucasian people. It's not just African American people. I think it affects people of every race. But um, her goal is to find out what triggers it in our race. So I'm just, I'm, I've been very curious about it since then. And she contacted me last year to help her on this project. And, you know, it was put down for a while and now we're starting to pick it back up again. And it's, it's interesting to learn, you know. I need more feedback on this. If anybody else has this issue where they like to pluck hairs out of their body for any reason, what causes it? Do you do anything to stop it? Are you able to stop it? You know, what are the triggers? Um, anything, you know, stuff like that. If you guys have any information that you can help me filter through, then let me know. Write in the comment box and we can talk about this strange condition, you know? It's a wonder I even have eyebrows sometimes because sometimes I pick a lot and so, and I have patches through my eyebrows sometimes and sometimes I don't. It's just <laughs> I don't pick them as often as I used to years ago but it still happens, you know? This is a condition that doesn't really go away, you know? It's kind of like a permanent thing. Um, there are ways you can reduce it or stop stop it for a time being. With life alone might have you stop it for the time being, but it's not, oh, I don't think it's curable, you know what I mean? So, like I said, um, I just wanted to talk about that. If you have any input or anything you need to say or anything you think I forgot, write in the comments below and we can discuss it. And, yeah, that's just about it for that topic. Because I have my great hour, second minute, day, and week, and month. Aha! And lifetime. Thank you guys for watching.